Tonight, the flag of the White House is back at half-staff after an uproar over what many saw as disrespect of the late Senator John McCain. Now, the flag was lowered Saturday night right after the senator's death was announced. But then this morning, the flag was flying at full mast once again. And late this afternoon, the White House lowered it to half-staff for a second time. WBZ political analyst John Keller is here tonight. John? Paula, even by recent standards, this has been a remarkable 24 hours at the White House. First, the curtailed flag lowering and a cursory presidential condolence tweet to McCain's family. Then, late today, after an uproar, backpedaling from the president. On Beacon Hill and outside government buildings across the nation, the flag is at half-staff until further notice in honor of Senator McCain. The White House flag was also lowered Saturday night and Sunday, but early this morning it was abruptly raised to full staff before being lowered again late in the day in a sequence that seemed to reflect the rancorous relationship between President Trump and McCain. You, Any sir. thoughts on John McCain, Thank you, John. sir? The president had no comment today. But he had plenty to say after the 2015 murder of four Marines at a Tennessee recruiting office when it took President Obama five days to lower the White House flag in their honor. Then candidate Trump called it a disgraceful omission of an important gesture that signifies our respect. Today, Trump critics flagged the handling of McCain's passing as disrespectful. He's jealous. He should be jealous. Senator McCain is uh, twice the public elected official this president will ever be. But this is far from the first time half-staff honors have become controversial. Mr. Trump declined to lower the flag after the slaughter of five Annapolis, Maryland journalists in June, but quickly reversed himself under fire. And with sensitivity to the gesture apparently more acute than ever, President Obama set a new record for the frequency of White House flag lowerings for everything from the death of notable figures to mass school shootings. And now late this afternoon, after the national commander of the American Legion wrapped the White House for failing to properly honor McCain, a formal statement from the President, Paula, saying in part, quote, despite our differences on policy and politics, I respect Senator McCain's service to our country, and the flag will fly at half-staff now until McCain's burial. Through the burial next week, yep. he's sending some generals to the funeral, and uh, I guess it bears uh, repeating in the White House that if you want to honor veterans, John McCain was uh, one of our great veterans. And look, uh, is he the first politician to win an adversary? Mm. You could say an enemy passes away, have the impulse to say, well, good riddance. And of course not. But the difference here seems to be past presidents have managed to control that impulse and do the right thing. This president, in this case, could not. We'll see if any more comes on Twitter this evening. Yeah. John Keller, thanks so much. Liam?